We're just starting out a new year and now is a good time to dream big and to set goals. The hardest thing is taking action and sticking to it. I've had close to two full decades in the fitness industry and over that time, I've learned a few tips which hopefully can help you on your journey. Lose fat, tone up, improve performance. Whatever your goals are, these tips can help you stay on your path. I'll first let you in on a couple of my fitness goals for the new year. I'll use them as examples and show you some of the strategies I'm gonna implement to get me closer to attempting to achieve my goals. I say attempt to achieve as they're far from foregone conclusions. And in fact, one is a world record attempt. Monkey bar workouts have been a big part of my training, but if I'm gonna achieve my goals, I've got to create a good plan of action. And that's key to achieving any goal. So my first tip is to focus on the system and not the goal. Focus on what you have to do to get you closer to your goals. Back in late November of 2021, I took a three hour road trip to the Wild Forest Outdoor Obstacle Training Facility with some fitness buddies to try my luck on one of the longest set of monkey bars in the world for two main reasons. One was to see if I could complete the 140 meter monkey bars, and two was to see how far I could get to a world record. The world record being distance covered on monkey bars in one minute. Unfortunately, I came up slightly short on both, but give that video a watch if you haven't already. The attempts gave me a good idea of where I'm currently at and what I need to do in order to improve. So they are my two main goals over the next couple of months at least. May or may not achieve them, but I'm gonna focus on what I need to do from now until then to get me as close as possible. And I'm gonna to choose to enjoy the process. To give yourself the best chance of achieving your goals, you need to shape your environment in order to support the habits you're trying to create. Shape your habits, and that will make the journey, the process, or the system more smooth. To make a habit stick, it needs to be seen easily and something that's convenient to do. This could be as simple as setting a reminder on your phone or leaving your gym bag out in preparation. Habits are always harder in the beginning, but we need to get to the stage where they're programmed in and they become more like, well, habits. More automatic, meaning less cognitive effort is needed because you've already done the work at the beginning stages. Habit stacking is a strategy I will use, stacking a new habit to an existing one. For me, training monkey bars, after my morning clients. To make something a habit, make it visible, make it easy. And the opposite is true when trying to stop a bad habit. Make it invisible and make it difficult. Don't let setbacks or failures stop you in your pursuit of your goals. And don't let what you might see as slow progress get you down or sabotage your future efforts. A setback is just feedback. Use it, learn from it, reassess and readjust if needed. And slow progress is better than no progress. Remember, no matter how slow you progress, you're still ahead of everyone who isn't trying. And to put that another way, which is more self-empowering, no matter how slow you progress, you're still ahead of where you would be if you weren't trying. Break down your big goals into mini goals that can be measured along the way. That's quite straightforward for me and my monkey bar goals. It's just about getting further and improving time, both of which can be easily measured and check for progress. And remember, with any goal that involves fitness, there's often positive side effects. If your goal is to lose weight or lose fat, your pursuit in getting there will likely result in you becoming healthier and fitter, providing that you do it right, of course.
pay attention to your habits, take control of your habits to give yourself the best possible chance of reaching your goals. Thanks for watching guys. Please check out the rest of the content on my channel and like and subscribe. And I'll see you very soon on the next video. Take care.